Welcome back to Bingeworthy Network. From exposing the abortions to defending Donald Trump, here are five rants that embarrass Kim Kardashian. And stick around to number one because it easily goes down as the most bizarre rant in the history of rants. Number five, the abortion secret. Let's start the list off with the most recent Kanye controversy and drama. Most of you have already heard that on July 20th, Kanye West held a public rally in South Carolina. Mr. West, who is now running for a 2020 president election, decided to speak about some of the important issues of the nation. During his emotional speech, Kanye let it slip that he and Kim wanted to get an abortion when they were pregnant with North. If this giant private secret reveal wasn't jaw-dropping enough, Kanye later went on to Twitter to continue his rant. With a series of bizarre tweets and crazy comments, Kanye exposed the entire Kardashian-Jenner dynasty, from calling Kris Jenner a white supremacist to claiming that Kim had cheated on him with the rapper Meek Mills. Kanye didn't leave one stone unturned. He exposed it all. And as you can imagine, Kim Kardashian was embarrassed and devastated to see her beloved husband do such a horrible thing to her family. Not only was Kim deeply angry at Kanye for exposing the abortion secret, but she was horrified to see Ye continue his rant on Twitter for millions of people to see. The recent Kanye West rant and drama became such news that sources have confirmed that Kim is seriously considering a divorce and separation from the rapper. Number four, a Donald Trump supporter. Whether you're a fan of President Trump or not, we all have to admit that the President of the United States can be a little bizarre at times. With his controversial comments about gender, race, and sexuality, Trump is undeniably one of the most outspoken leaders of the free world. Fans of Keeping Up With The Kardashians were shocked to find out that Kanye West supported the current President of the United States. After performing a musical gig at Saturday Night Live, the rapper continued to go on with his shocking rant. The father of four revealed how he had made a connection with Donald Trump and how he was a supporter of the president. Kanye's rant, along with his controversial Make America Great Again hat, made social media headlines. Fans started to bash the rapper for supporting a racist leader of the country. And soon enough, the word got to Kim as well. This is what sources have said that Kim's reaction was to the SNL rant. Having all the backlash against Kanye is embarrassing enough for her and the family, but she will never say that. She supports Kanye through and through and truly thinks her husband is entitled to his own opinion. Number three, Grammy rant. Kanye West is no stranger to a dramatic and controversial award show moment. Remember back in 2009 when he barged on the stage and embarrassed Taylor Swift during her acceptance speech? Yeah, it's safe to say that when it comes to Kanye, the rapper simply doesn't know the right time to express his thoughts and feelings. In 2009, Kanye stated Taylor's award for best video of the year should have gone to Beyonce for her legendary single album, Single Ladies, the video. This MTV award moment became so notorious that Kanye decided to do a sequel to the award show stunt. In 2015, the Grammy Awards, Kanye barged on the stage once again, while the singer Beck won the album of the year. He tried to pull the iconic Kanye rant stunt, but backed out at the last minute. And even though everyone was shocked to see Kanye on stage, Beck took it really well and actually invited him back. Although Kanye didn't voice his thoughts to the millions of people watching the Grammy Awards, he did make a comment backstage after the ceremony ended. This is what Kanye said about Beck and how the artist should have given the award to Beyonce. Flawless Beyonce video and Beck needs to respect artistry and he should have given his award to Beyonce. As shocking as Kanye rant was, it was Kim Kardashian who felt the most embarrassed and concerned. It was later revealed by the insider of the reality TV star and mother of four, she was absolutely mortified to hear Kanye talk so bad about a fellow artist. She didn't understand why Kanye needed to defend Beyonce so much and thought her husband was going a little bit overboard. Actually, he was going way over the deep end. But hearing Kanye's rant about Beck and Beyonce, we can't help but agree that Kim was really embarrassed. Number two, the keeping up the Kardashian interview. Okay, this next Kanye moment may not be so much of a rant, but rather that he simply embarrassed Kim Kardashian. For those who may not be well versed in the Keeping Up With The Kardashian world, it's very rare to see Kanye West on the reality TV show. Not only does Kanye dodge the cameras any chance he gets, but he also declines any attempts for an interview. 
That is why it's so interesting to see Kanye West give his first interview on the last season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. But even though his interview was going simply well by the conversation, things took a turn for the worse when the rapper started talking about butts, The Incredibles, and flying. You can clearly see that Kim Kardashian was a little embarrassed to see her full adult husband talk about a cartoon character's butt and chances of flying in real life. The wife got a big butt and I just see our life becoming more and more and more like The Incredibles until we can finally fly. And for the number one most craziest Kanye rant that could easily go down in history as the craziest rant was slavery. If the previous rants weren't shocking enough, wait until you hear about Kanye's next controversial comment. As you might have guessed, when it comes to Kanye West, the internationally adored rapper has some interesting points of views and very controversial topics that he likes to defend. One of these topics happens to be slavery. While it is universally accepted fact that slavery was one of the most devastating events in history, the rapper and father of four doesn't seem to agree of the notion. In an interview with TMZ, Yeezy fashion designer made some very jaw-dropping comments about slavery. Check this out. You hear about slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> like, you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? If you haven't guessed by now, Kanye's rant wasn't taken well by the public. The rapper soon faced an extremely aggressive backlash as everyone in the world started to disagree with Kanye's comments. And alongside with millions of people watching worldwide, Kim Kardashian also had to go against her husband. During the interview with the Fashion Awards, this is what the reality TV star said about Kanye's rant. Did I scream about it? Did I cry about it? Did I fight about it? Yeah. Do you think this is the end of Kanye rants or do you think we have at least, you know, three or four more good Kanye rants in us uh, that are just going to shock the world? Because it, just when you think that he can't get any crazier, he does something like, I don't know, talk about slavery, talk about abortion. I mean, guys, just nonstop. Well, thanks for watching and do make sure to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.